Hey child and welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready to clean out my stash. So y'all know with me consistently making YouTube content, I encounter a lot of hair products and it actually made me a hoarder for quite some time. But I said, you know what? I don't want to just be hanging on to stuff. So I clean out my stash maybe once a month or once every six weeks or something like that. Usually I give you all a video showing you everything that got to go. It don't mean that I hate the products. It just means that I have something else that I love more that is more of a staple. Um, and so that is what I'm giving ready to do it but i decided to flip that because i get a lot of questions asking me my favorite products so i'm getting ready to show you my stash i'm gonna clean it out and i'm gonna show you the things that i absolutely cannot live without did that rhyme bye so here is my table of hair products i got a really small table so that i would not be so likely to overflow it like i used to do so uh, here is how it's organized from here to here are all my co-washes, shampoo bars, shampoos, and the ACV rinse. In this section right here are all of my deep treatments and regular conditioners. Right here are all of my styling butters, styling creams, and, and jellies and things like that. This section right here are all of my leave-ins. These three are my mousses. Right here are oils. This is oil sheen spray and this is color um, stuff because I really was about to dye my hair until I bought this hair curl smith. Last but not least, this is a kit from Chi when I straighten my hair. So that is how it is all organized. I'm going to sort through it right now, get rid of anything I haven't used in a couple of months, anything that I naturally don't really gravitate to. And I'm gonna show you what remains. Cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get to it. We're gonna start with my cleansers. Shampoo bars. So I only have two shampoo bars. One is from Frolicious Naturals. The other is from Rajija. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Naturals. I love them both. I've had this one from um, Frolicious Naturals. It's their Free to Fro cleansing bar. I've had this for a lot longer, so I have a lot more experience with it, but I do equally enjoy them both. So if you're looking for a recommendation on shampoo bars, check out either Frolicious Naturals or Rajija's Naturals. Next, y'all have seen me rave about this, be it on YouTube or Instagram. This is Girl and Hair's Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse. You can use this to really cleanse your scalp under a protective style, or if you just want it on your own. Honey, this thing will get to cleaning out everything, but it doesn't strip your hair. I really, really like it. Just don't go overboard in the application because you'll start smelling the apple cider vinegar, but y'all, honestly, everything I've ever touched from Girl and Hair, I absolutely love, but yeah, this is their ACV Rinse, and then I'm gonna transition to shampoos, and since it's right here, I'm gonna just go forward. This is their water to foam shampoo love it it is a thrill to work with honey it's just seeing that water turn into the bubbles and all the other good stuff i absolutely like that it's the talia wajit apple and aloe shampoo absolutely love it then i have my texture id shampoo what i like about this is it is a sulfate free clarifying shampoo so it gets my hair really really clean without drying it out my hair feels good after i use it so because it gently clarifies without feeling like really abrasive I really like this and it's like $8.99, $7.99 or something. It's under $10. Oh, so, you know, we rocks with that. And my last shampoo was my Function of Beauty shampoo. Y'all, they sent this to me. And when I tell y'all I have been wearing this thing out, I really, really like it. The foaming, what well, the lathering on it is amazing and it makes my hair feel really good without stripping it. So if you want an honest opinion on Function of Shampoo, I'm telling you. Function of shampoo. Function of beauty, I'm telling you, they shampoo is everything. And then the last thing that I have for a cleanser is a co-wash. I'm not really a co-washer like that at all, but sometimes because I record so much, I don't want to shampoo my hair twice a week. So I will use this. This is the only one I have. It's from the Dew. Is that one little co-wash. Now it does have dimethicone. It does smell like the children's amoxicillin and little pink syrup, but this thing is amazing. All right, so that is it as far as my cleansers go. Let me show you my staples as far as conditioners and masks. All right, so I have five masks. I'm getting ready to show you and one conditioner. The one conditioner I did keep was this Function of Beauty one. And y'all know I don't really like conditioners like that. However, I used to keep one conditioner and one co-wash in my stash just because, again, I film with my hair twice a week. Not every time do I need a deep treatment because that can lead to you over processing your hair with moisture. I think it's called hydro fatigue or something like that. But I'm telling you, this thing gets the job done as far as conditioners go. It kind of feels like a mask, but it doesn't overpower my hair with moisture. So this is the one conditioner I keep. Now let's go into the mask. 
First, I have Miss Jessie's Super Sweet Back Treatment. Honey, even if I didn't absolutely love it, I was keeping it because I dropped good coin for this. Y'all know Miss Jessie's ain't cheap. However, I can honestly say this Super Sweet Back Treatment has been amazing to my hair. It's really um, super moisturizing, especially when I apply a little bit of heat to it. This thing gets the job done. So if you want an honest recommendation on Miss Jessie's, this Super Sweet Back Treatment, amazing. Next, Girl in Hair's curl cloud now i will say it is one of those things that's formulated for everybody so if you have thicker denser hair when they say in the instructions to apply generously that's exactly what they mean first time i used it i thought it didn't have much slip but i went back in and i added more and i added heat and honey this thing had my hair feeling like butter next so y'all have always heard me say the uh deep treatment from the alpha collection from the main choice has been a staple of mine and it has been for years but i find myself buying this one more and it's the proceed with caution treatment um it's a pre and post pool mask so i use it to pre pool and also as a post pool and then honey y'all know main choice ain't cheap so the fact that i'm getting two uses out of it amazing and it makes my curls pop like crazy so this is one of their og collections where you know I love the main choice, but the newest stuff that they've been coming out with just ain't been hitting on nothing for me. So this was one of the last collections where I bought everything and loved everything. So this, yes. TGIN, the Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating uh, Hair Mask. I like TGIN in general. I really love the rose water collection, but of course this was formulated with the honey, the thick hair girls in mind. And so this, I really, really, truly love this. And the last one, y'all know how my baby daddy get down. Texture ID, everything from Texture ID, the OG collection, absolutely love it. I repurchased this on a regular, it's like $8.99. It's their deep treatment mask. Honey, perfect balance of strengthening and moisturizing. It is just everything. So this is it for the deep treatments and conditioners. Let's go to leave-in. All right, let's go into the leave-ins. Once again, we're going to kick it off with Miss Jessie's. Even if I didn't love it, honey, this thing was pricey and I was going to make my hair like this. However, I really do like this from Miss Jessie's. Um, as I said in the original video that I did, I was concerned about it because honestly, I didn't feel like I saw girls like me or even boys like me who have kinky or curly hair. Um, I didn't feel like they represented us as much as they could however when i gave it a try y'all i honestly really really like miss jesse's products um the styler is it's kind of like you kind of gotta play with it because sometimes it might flake up but as far as the wash day meaning um shampoos conditioners and leave-ins they got that on lock i like miss jesse's next honey this thing is almost gone and i'm about to buy it again it is carol's daughter's goddess strength collection this leave-in perfect balance of moisturizing and also strengthening this whole line from carol's daughter i don't have a lot of things from carol's daughter that i stand for but i'm telling you the hill that i'm willing to die on is this is one of their best collections to date next Rajia naturals oh uh, Rajia sweet naturals let me say the name right honey this thing honey i don't know if y'all can tell but i've been wearing it out and i've only used it twice this is amazing i put this on and i put my cap on top of it for about 20 minutes just to let it do a little bit of extra luxuriated and this thing got the job done honey i rocks with this honey i love this thing like no other and y'all know i really don't even rock with spray leave-ins like this but this is one of the best spray leave-ins i've ever used and it don't cost much or nothing it's like 7 or 8.99 but this texture id leave-in absolutely love it and the last thing is it's just honey ain't nobody touching it and y'all already know where i'm going with this the Tropical Moringa Leave-In from The Main Choice. I'm telling you, this is one of the best leave-ins I've ever used. It's worth every penny. It's one of the OG collections before it started being a little different around there. But I'm telling you, this thing is bomb. I'm really hoping that The Main Choice, whatever their next release will be, which, you know, probably is in another two weeks because they drop stuff. Like, people drop their drops. But I'm telling you, The Main Choice old stuff, like the Alpha Collection, Ancient Egyptian, Tropical Moringa, Proceed with Caution, nothing was touching it. The last couple of releases, Powell Collection was okay. And then the Must Be Magic, I was very disappointed in it, but I am a stan for the brand, the main choice. So I'm hoping whatever they come out with within the next two days, two weeks, two months, cause y'all know it's coming. I'm hoping that it has the same top notch quality and it goes back to the core of what it used to be, which is the absolute best hair products on the market. I don't care nothing about gimmicks or branding. Honey, I need that quality. And a tropical moringa leave-in is that quality. I need something like that. Next, my stylers. All right, so as far as stylers go, once again, I'm giving you my top five. So 
Um, when my hair was long enough to really twist comfortably without it feeling like a chore, this was one of my favorite things ever. It is from the Texture ID Coils Collection. It is their twist butter. It's kind of like a butter, kind of like a gel, but honey, this thing is moisturizing and it will put your twist in like a really locked in state without it being crunchy. This is one of my favorite products ever to twist with. Next, the Rajija Sweet Naturals, their curl cream. Y'all, this was one of my favorite wash and goes ever. I use this curl cream and then just to give it a little bit more hold, I use the Design Essentials Mousse on top. My hair was so popping in that video, I freaking stand for it. So this is one of my favorite uh, combinations is to take this curl cream and put a little bit of mousse on top just for an additional extra hold if I need it. Absolutely love it. Next, Curl Days. This cream is actually really, really nice. It reminded me a lot of the Texture ID uh, styling cream. A few differences, but I actually really liked it. It was moisturizing, got, got a little bit of a hole. I um, did some finger coils with it, absolutely loved it. So I do really like this cream from Curl Days. I don't think I filmed with it yet, but off camera, I really do like it. And since I mixed Texture ID, I gotta pull it out. Y'all, listen, as long as you don't mind Dimethicone, this is one of the best styling creams you will ever use and it is from texture id i'm telling you this the hill i'm willing to die on this styling cream is bomb and if you need a little bit of extra hole put a mousse or a gel on top this thing will get you right and my last styler i have purchased this three times i've never gotten anything in the mail like pr or anything from this brand but i'm telling you this thing is so good i bought it three times it is the talia legit green apple and aloe with coconut nutrition hold me down jelly and y'all know i don't really be rocking with the long names like that but because this thing is so good i'm telling you Honey, almost gone and about to go buy another one. This whole line from Tali Wajit, I really, really like. But this styling jelly, one of the best things ever. I absolutely love it. It's up there with my little foot wet line. This is bomb. Mousse time. There's only one mousse that I can say is a staple that I will repurchase again and again. And this is the Design Essential Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. I don't know what they do with this, but it's just like some mousses, when I put them on, they're great for holding the style, but they can be a little drying and kind of take away the luster of my hair. Design Essentials, they ain't new to this hair game. It just so happens that they just started doing natural stuff. Whatever legacy that they know to do, honey, they bought up the thing and made it for us. This is one of the best mousses that I've ever used because not only does it lock in my style, but it does keep my hair moisturized and it doesn't make my hair look dull. Speaking of dull, sometimes certain products, they do a good job, but they don't give my hair a lot of shine. So I do have this from Afro Sheen. It's their Glow Up Sheen Spray. Honey, you just pop a couple of pumps on there. Just make sure you take your glasses off, because honey, it'll turn your glasses up, have y'all, you just listen, can't see. But this does give your hair a really beautiful shine. Just make sure you don't do it on a floor that doesn't have carpet or doesn't have a tile down, because honey, you will feel like you're roller skating. Your floor will just be slippery. But this thing is almost gone. This is one of my favorite products. I just do a couple pumps pumps on top of my styles and boom shining 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 yeah and my last category of products which is styling gels i encounter a lot i like a few but there's only two was it bars was it bar honey mother is a rapper do you understand but there are two that i absolutely love and that is this oh the curl days glossy shine gel just make sure you layer something underneath it like um their curl days cream or whatever kind of cream that you like um, because this thing got some hold to it and if you don't put something underneath it, it will be crunchy. But I like crunchy for my hair type because it helps my styles to last longer. So I don't mind the crunch, but if you don't want to crunch, put a cream underneath it, this thing get the job done. Listen, there is one that has my heart that will never be replaced, will never be dethroned, will never go out of style in my home. I just hope that the company don't come out as like some racist or super controversial because I don't know if I could ever replace it and y'all know who it is. My baby daddy, wet line extreme gel. This thing is amazing to me. This is one of their uh, stronger holding products because some gels are medium hold, light hold. I don't rock with it because my curls are curls, but they kinky curls. They grow upward and not downward. And honey, I need something that's gonna give strong hold to give it some looks, okay, some longevity. And so this gets the job done. But just like with the curl days gel, in order to keep my hair from being super crunchy so that I don't tear it up when I start picking it for volume, I do like to layer a styling cream underneath it 
um, just to give my hair some softness and some moisture so I'm not like doing any damage to my hair. So those are all of my staples. There are some things in my collection that I didn't feature in the video. It doesn't mean I don't love it. It just means I need to play with it more or I absolutely love it, but I can't say it's my staple. There are things like that. There are other products over there that I, I like, but I just didn't say, I can't say that they are staples, but they real good though. So if you didn't see something that I gave a good review in this video, just know I ain't scamming you. It just means that I had something that even though that was great I have something that I actually prefer for my hair so this is my whole collection after I've cleaned it out I'm sure y'all probably get another video in about three weeks because I go through products like that so if you have any questions leave them down below me love you long time curl smith so I do have the copper and the red I have not used the red yet this is day three hair with my copper I can say it did not dry my hair out it doesn't do a lot of transferring. Like if I sit on a couch and my hair is on it, I haven't experienced transfer. The only time I get transferred is in the morning when I take my bonnet off and I fluff my hair out, I get a lot of copper flakes on my shoulders. So I just brush that off and it doesn't stain my clothes. Um, if I scratch my hair, I will have to check my shoulder and get the copper flakes off. I've noticed the places in my hair where I apply a lot more is where I get like the copper flakes coming out, but it was not enough for me to say that I wouldn't use it because again, just a brush of the shoulder and it all comes off. Now, if it was staining my clothes, I'll be like, uh-uh, get that out of here. But keep in mind though, even though I reviewed it and I really do like it, my hair is short. I don't have hair that sits on my shoulders or on my back. So I would say look for an unsponsored review from someone with long hair and see what they say about if they have hair that's like really draping if it stains their clothes. I, I would want you to get an honest review on that before you purchase. But honestly, as far as my little ball here to self go, I rock with that Curl Smith hair makeup. So now, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Me love you long time. Maki Dada, and I'm out of here. Bye, y'all.